Hello everyone, my name is Mumbles, and we're playing some more Killing Floor 2. Uh, this time, I am, you know, apparently suffering some from some form of mental illness because I came to Sanitarium as a survivalist. And that's actually kind of an apt uh, combination, for, for me at least, because I don't know how to play this perk. I genuinely don't understand what you're really expected to do with it. I think it's supposed to be, you know, like a, a generalist. Maybe that's the idea, you can just make your own loadout, make your own fun. But every time I play it, I end up feeling like I could have just played a different perk and, you know, done a better job at whatever it is I'm trying to do. Plus the, the random summoning weapon is just... I mean, it's random, what do you want me to say? Earlier I, I spawned with an HX and turns out it's quite good for what I'm trying to do. I'm pretty sure none of the, like, my, none of my perk benefits, well, other than, you know, straight damage increases actually do anything for the Winchester. And it doesn't need a lot of help in that department, in my experience, not for Wave 1 at least. So I, I really don't know. I, I have figured out a loadout for the perk, and at least it involves one uh, survivalist, like, survivalist weapon. So I'm kind of happy about that because I feel like, you know, you might as well include a weapon like that if you're going to play the perk. Um, but I mostly end up using the RPG because it's just incredible, even if it is not on uh, Demolitionist. That's just sad, man. I'm awful with this gun for some reason. It's so silly because in Killing Floor 1, I didn't play it a lot, but I did like the, the lever action rifle. And this is essentially just a, a named variant of that, if you ask me. Who's this last fellow, and why is he playing Ring, Ring Around a Rosie with me? Oh, it's another fat guy. Cool. Explains the movement speed, I guess. Well, at least we can potentially get rid of this thing and get, I don't know, kind of anything else. I don't think we can get the weapons that I like, but uh, we'll get to the trader pot and just figure that out together, I suppose. Usually what I do is try to get the arc generator, because it's quite cool. And I paired up with the RPG, like I said, but I don't think we can do that right now. So I'm kind of thinking, what do we grab instead? Because I definitely don't want this. Like, let's let's just get out, get that out of the way. It's 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 leaving. It's left our our inventory. We don't have it anymore. Still have 30 seconds to make our minds up here. I don't know, dude. It feels silly to grab the Ajax, but I kind of had fun with it. I guess we could do that temporarily. You know what? Yeah, let's let's just grab the Ajax and, and some of this stuff, and I guess let's do that. I'm, I refuse to grab armor, by the way. This is just a hard difficulty game, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that before. So, despite the fact that I'm not, you know, great with this perk, I think we should probably be fine, just based on the fact that we are level 24, so we have quite a few benefits for the perk. Even though Survivalist is quite weird in that department, because again, he gets like some weird abilities that are just essentially renamed uh, and reused versions of other stuff. Like you get spontaneous explosion, but Firebug also essentially has the same thing. I think that's kind of the only Firebug-like effect that you have. In fact, I believe I was looking through the the perks, you know, like passives, essentially like the the skills that you get to pick, and I noticed a trend where most of the passives like don't include medic or firebug weapons, which is fine. Don't get me wrong, that's totally okay. It's just interesting to to note. It's funny for me because I actually quite like firebug, as uh, I've made it abundantly clear with multiple videos already featuring the perk. But also, I, I recently started playing Medic, like recently, probably like two months ago, and have had a great amount of fun with it, actually. I, I actually personally believe that this is probably one of the, the absolute best renditions of like the Medic concept in any video game that I've played. Which, you know, you might think, like, oh, dude, is this some weird flex of how many video games you've played with Medics in them? Not really, but, you know, I, I've played like a, a fair few of them, I guess. A lot of class-based shooters had the, the concept of a Medic in them. So in that department, I'm like, yeah, I guess, you know, I've, I've seen a medic or two. And I have played uh, Team Fortress 2 quite a bit, which, you know, has an infamously overpowered medic. But then I feel like that's okay in that game, precisely because, like, even a good medic, once you, you know, get him cornered, well, they're not going to have the, the best of times. I mean, I feel like the Ajax was a good pickup. I'm kind of glad that I bought it, and it is very, very fun. Normally on demo, I don't run the reload speed uh, bonus at all. So it was kind of interesting to actually have such a fast-loading Ajax. It did mean we burnt through a lot of ammo, like a, a hideous amount, as it turns out. But, I mean, hey, nobody cares because we're going to sell it now. So let's do that. Like I said, we're going to try to go for the arc generator. 
And when I say try, I mean we actually just bought it. I wish I had slightly more money, but it is what it is. We also don't have armor, which could be potentially disastrous, but, you know, we're going to try our best. And essentially, like I said, I, I play this perk for no reason at all, because I have no clue what you're actually supposed to do with it. So if you have any suggestions, basically, any loadout ideas that you think are cool, anything you have, like, a lot of fun with, like, please be sure to, to throw them out there. Because, like I, like I said, like, I've, I've occasionally played this perk, and I've actually leveled it up mostly just by killing clot variants, which is, I believe, the, the level up condition. Well, one of the ways you can get additional XP for this perk. And although I don't hate it, I do kind of miss the, the point of it, I guess. And you'll see with the RPG, like, I love using the RPG. It's, it's one of my all-time favorite weapons. But, again, I just feel like I'm a worst, uh... You know, like a worse uh, demo, rather. Not the worst demo as a uh, survivalist. You could be a worse demo than a survivalist demo, easily, just by, you know, missing all of your RPGs, which I occasionally tend to do. Although, luckily, there's not much footage of it, so... You know, I'm fortunate in that department. I'm quickly realizing this is probably not the room you want to be in, so let's try to, to leave while there's not that much traffic on this side. I kind of came here because I remembered that it's a, an okay spot, and apparently I'm 100% wrong. But thankfully, I'm getting away with my uh, crappy decisions because nothing spawned in our way. Which is a, a new thing, at least for me in this game. Things tend to just spawn in the worst possible location whenever they get a chance to. We also have the medic training ability, so like if we get into a really crappy situation, we can literally just you know pop a, a needle and mostly be fine. I was wondering when the, the big stuff would show up, because that shaking was just the map. Again, this is a, an HP Lovecraft-inspired map. I'm quite quite a huge fan of it as a consequence. I, I do like the the man's work. I think uh, the fiction that he wrote was, was quite nice. I really, you know, like it as far as, like, kind of gothic slash cosmic horror stuff goes. I feel like, yeah, the flesh bun is probably murdering some people. Let's let's take the opportunity to, to do some drugs and say hi to, to Cthulhu's tentacle while we're at it. I mean, we're EMPing him. We're not doing uh, a lot else. Oh, I wanted to do the pro gamer move, but I failed. That is... Is he? Okay. This is apparently a very... I don't know what is going on with this location. That that was super weird. I, I guess I hit something in the wall that uh, just seemingly isn't there. Yeah, man, this gun is so fun with the ball lightning. It eats ammo, but it does quite a bit of work. I guess uh, I'll move somewhere else where maybe we can see these guys like coming up. They seem to be quite far away below us. Hopefully they're not completely stuck. But yeah, the HRG Arc Generator. I believe it's a, a reskin version of the microwave gun, which I actually tried out uh, probably for like the second or third time in the last like month and a half. And I, I found out that I quite like it. It's quite a good gun. I really dis dislike the fact that a lot of the, the flamethrower-type weapons... Like, the cock and burn is, is okay. It's, it, in fact, it's a, a wonderful starting weapon, but it's definitely, you know, it falls off pretty hard later. And the flamethrower is not uh, the overpowered thing that it was in Killing Floor 1. Which I guess is maybe for the better in terms of game balance, but it doesn't change the fact that it makes the gun less fun to use. Which is kind of important for me, at least. So I was very sad about that with Firebug, despite the fact that, you know, Firebug over the last, like, couple of months essentially has turned into, in my opinion, one of the, the strongest perks that this game has to offer. So I guess I can't really complain. Like, I don't really have a, a foundation to stand on with that. I guess that just went through him, huh? I don't know which is better against him, probably just shocking him instead of using the ball lightning. That thing travels real far away, huh? <laughs> But yeah, like, I, I wouldn't say I fell in love with the microwave gun, but I have had quite a bit of fun with it. It's It's been mostly nice. Let's get some armor. I don't think we're going to be doing any of the, the upgrade shenanigans, and we're probably just going to save up money for the RPG, because we can't afford it yet. But we would definitely like to have it. And, uh, you know, it's a thing that we can have in our inventory, thanks to the... And I'm going to look up the, the weapon harness, of course, of course. But yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised by the microwave gun on Firebug, and then it turns out that even the HRG version of it is quite cool. Like, this thing, the, the, the R-Generate, I keep forgetting the name, but it is quite nice. 
I only uh, recently tried it out, and it's it's been very, very fun. I really like the ball lightning. Uh, it, it's kind of map dependent, like there's obviously some situations where it's it feels absolutely positively overpowered. And then you have like this map, especially like here on the staircases, where like, well, you're not gonna get that much mileage out of it basically, but you know, it is a cool thing to have. Plus shocking things has so much utility due to the, the way EMP works in this game. I guess maybe we'll get to see that. Although for the time being, mostly what we're seeing is just, you know, the, the awful uh, pathfinding for Zeds once they, well, once they try to attack you, like, around the corner. Oh, well, that's, uh... I mean, at least this area is pretty big. I was gonna say, like, I guess I got stuck in a corner a bit, but we, we weren't there for long, though. I wonder if, well, I was gonna say I wonder if I have enough ammo for this, but then I noticed it's only, like, 30 guys. Sometimes I forget the difficulty that I play on. Again, I should probably push it to suicidal, but... The thing is, like, especially with, uh, with this perk, I have no idea. I've played it a handful of times on, uh, on, like, co-op slash multiplayer. And although it went, like, decently, uh, in Endless, that's, you know, kind of a different beast as well. But again, it's just, you know, shooting lightning at stuff. Pretty fun. This is basically a lightning thrower. I know it's called the Arc Generator. I had to think about it, okay? I had to actually think about it, but, but I did remember. That ball lightning is just so cool, man. It doesn't do that much work, seemingly, against the bloats, at least. I guess probably because it's body shots. But then I tried to shoot the thing in the head, like, earlier, and it just went through him and didn't do anything. That guy took it on the chin, though. And not really with a smile, I feel like. It has surprisingly long range as well. I, I keep, like, you know, surprising myself with it. Every time I use it. Well, we have essentially infinite money now, which is always a, a pleasant situation to be in. But let's get even more money by picking up the Winchester. And this is a callback now, because you know this is what we started with, this garbage. But now we have it again. And are we going to keep it? No. No, this isn't going to be like a full circle, let's kill the boss with a crappy gun. This is going to be, let's grab an actually good weapon in the form of the RPG-7. Um... Theoretically, you know, we could upgrade, but I'm gonna say let's instead autofill and then upgrade the RPG because, again, I, I usually don't even get to upgrade it. So survivalists in that regard, like, I could see the fun in the perk to a degree because it's like you get to do all the, the zany stuff that you would never ever do. And hey, Cthulhu's here, actually. Yeah, you, you get to do all the, the weird zany garbage that you would not get to do as an actual demolitionist because you, you have actual things you want to do. You know, your loadout is only 15, like, weight. You don't really get to, to include any upgrades in there, but I will be honest, it doesn't feel like you need to have any upgrades at that point either. So this one's going to be a little interesting because Hans is, uh, with the RPG, always one of those weird ones. I find that occasionally he's just incredible in terms of dodging and I miss most of my shots because he just jetpacks out of the way. And then there's other times when he just refuses to, to use any of his mobility abilities and I just nail him like, I don't know, 14 times in the head and he just dies. As you do once, you know, you're bombarded with like rocket propelled grenades. I feel like if he didn't die, I would be more mad. But let's see what kind of a day he's having, actually. If he's, you know, feeling nimble, or uh, he's feeling particularly lazy. And we can always cheat the system by, you know, shooting the ground instead of him. Which is seemingly what's mostly happening here. But yeah, like, he's kind of taking it on the chin. Oh god, I'm sorry for you, man. Yeah, not a whole lot remained of him. I guess that's the, the power of an upgraded RPG. We only got it for the last, last wave there, but... We didn't need it, and it went all across the map. Dude, the man is is gone. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't jiggle so well anymore now that he's actually fully gone. So like, it's so strange, you know. Like, I started this video and I, I was talking about how I don't know what to do with survival is, but seemingly this works. I just don't know if if this is what the perk is about. I guess is what I'm asking, because it it just again feels like I'm playing a, a different variation of demolitionist for the boss wave, and for everything else, I'm playing lightning firebug, which is really fun, by the way. It's very enjoyable, but I do wonder if maybe there's a different way. Uh, so if you have any resources, any tips in that regard, be, be sure to share them, I guess. Like, get in touch with me in any way you can, because I would be very curious to know what you guys get up to with this perk. Because frankly, I have no idea. But it is fun, I just, you know, wonder if I'm getting the most out of it. 
either way, I had a lot of fun actually playing it, and we did well, I guess, you know, it, it's definitely too easy on hard, let's be completely real, maybe one day we'll be a real boy and, and try other difficulties, uh, but I hope you enjoyed yourself as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.